Marie Kondo once said that life truly begins when you put your house in order. And if my ground floor studio with a Murphy bed, I'm sorry, I'm in house, was typically how I organize my interviews for my edits, my life would have never started in the first place because I couldn't actually find anything. Well, until now. My idea of organization of bins used to be memorizing which random shot number was the one with the sound bite that I was looking for. And it's painful at best. But Eddie's now got a killer solution. A one-click A-roll organization, all of your interviews with silences and filler words removed, sound bites identified and organized by topics across all interviewees with summaries for each interview that will turn your messy A-roll house into an organized A-roll home. Now you may have heard that we recently released B-roll logging. It's pretty amazing and our users so far are loving it. So much so that it's actually becoming one of our most used features. Now A-roll is the sibling to B-roll so we thought we'd create something similar for A-roll. So let me show you how it works. So I get a collection of three interviews from a series on a barber shop. One of the owner, one of her daughter, and one of them together. Now if you live near Westchester, Pennsylvania, go check out Simply Men's Barber Shop for the best cut in town. All right, so let's get this footage logged. Open up Eddie Desktop and click New Project. Select Log A-Roll and click Next. Then click the arrow and upload your A-Roll files and then Import. Then grab a coffee, call your mom, or whatever else takes five minutes. Well, maybe actually don't call your mom. A dad call might be better for this situation. Once Eddie finishes processing, export it to either Final Cut, Resolve, or Premiere. I'm a Premiere user, so we'll click the big button and then drag the project file right into my media bin. Now here comes the magic. Take a look at this bin organization. We got two initial bins, base interviews and topics. We'll dive into the base interviews first. We got all three interviews, the names of the speakers listed on the bins if they said them in the interview. Under each interview, you've got two string outs, chronological and most interesting, along with a source video. The chronological string out is your full interview with interviewer questions, filler words, and silences cut out in the order it was shot. Above the sound bites, you have chapter markers for which topic the sound bites below belong to. Next, we got the most interesting string out. Eddie takes all the sound bites from that speaker and then ranks them according to their conciseness and value as an individual sound bite. This is super valuable if you need a sound bite from a speaker that doesn't necessarily need to be about a certain topic, but you just need to fill a gap using that speaker. This repeats for the collection of interviews you have neatly placed in their own bins. So let's move on to the topic bins. Eddie groups all of the sound bites from every interview into applicable topics. For example, here I've got things like family and mentorship, customer experience, and team culture. Open up a topic bin and you'll see a familiar layout, a chronological string out and a most interesting string out. For chronological, the layout is kind of the opposite of the base interview folders. Here you have chapter markers for the groups of sound bites according to the speaker in order of how they were processed. So if you need something from a specific topic, you can hop in here and see all the sound bites from each speaker on that topic. For most interesting, it's organized all the sound bites in that topic according to the same principles as before, just now more specific for that topic. So on top of that all, you've got searchable transcript markers for all of your source videos, along with a summary of the video at the top of the markers. So how do we put this into practice? Well, great question. Let's try this out. Let's say that I want to start off with a killer soundbite about family. I'll open up the most interesting string out for that topic and grab a soundbite from the top of the rankings. Then I want to make sure that I get a soundbite from the owner of the shop, so I'll open up Chronological and grab a good soundbite from Jessica's chapter. Following that, I'll take a few more soundbites from the daughter's interview by scrubbing through Most Interesting, then grabbing some specifics from her chapter and interview. Finally, I know I want to end it with a soundbite from Jessica that specifically mentions the word family. So I'll click her chronological string out, open up the markers tab, and search family. And look at that, we've got a great match. For this clip, I don't want the filler words and silences taken out, so I'll delete the range here and extend the clip to get the unedited take. And now, we've got a story. For my final cut, friends, the flow is going to look just about the same, with the exception of Eddie's use of titles instead of markers. You'll see the same folder structure along with the same string outs you find in Premiere. And of course, they're all searchable. Now for Resolve, it gets a little tricky at the current moment. Since Resolve can only import either a bin structure or one timeline at a time, you'll have to import each string out individually. To import the metadata stored in your markers in your source video, select File, Import, Media from the XML. That will import your bin structure. For your string outs, click File, Import, Timeline. Import them separately under the Import Timeline dropdown. You'll see each speaker named along with the source clip name. Now I know it's not the most convenient thing in the world, and don't tell our engineering team that I said this publicly, but we've got a fix coming for that very soon. 
I know that one of the biggest hurdles in creating a story from scratch is being able to find things efficiently. And I believe that our A-Roll logging tool will help you get to a better cut faster. A-Roll logging is now available in any desktop, so go give it a try with your own footage. I'm Robbie, your content and community manager, and I'll see you in the next one.